Today's focus will be chest, triceps, and core. So we're gonna go into ABMB all tier and get a killer workout in. Work. Today is a neutral grip, so use each blank space as a reference on where to place your panty. So, with the program to build muscle, we're going to be on a 10, 8, 5, 5, 5 regimen. If you want to find a comfortable weight, you can do 8 to 10 repetitions. Then after that, you take a minute rest and you gradually increase about five to 10 pounds to the next set, all right? So let's start with your first set. Here's an example of what I do for my program. I start off with 10 reps of 275 pounds, eight reps of 280, five reps 285, five reps 290, and finally five reps of 300. So as you can see, it goes anywhere from five to 10 pound increases. But I consistently keep it at five for my earlier sets. And my last set, I increased it to 10 pounds. And I said you can have a one minute rest in between each set, but that's when you're trying to figure out which weight is comfortable for you. After you do that, your rest can be anywhere up to three minutes just off the strength when it give your muscles enough time to repair. So that way you can recuperate and crush each set rep by rep. Now that we got that out the way, let's get back to work. Lift off and control. And notice how it's a controlled movement. You always exhale in the concentric movement, meaning when it's coming up at the top, follow that flow of energy from your body. That's when you exhale, because you're exerting the force. Okay, now let's do the last set of five. And with this movement, of course it's going to attack your deltoid, your anterior deltoid, which is in the front right here, but at the same time, your pec major is also being involved too. So that's why this is a great exercise for chest day just as well as shoulder day. First set, 12 reps. Next two sets, 10 to 12 reps. Yep, nice and controlled. Be a slight bend in the elbow. Yeah, and what you want to do, you want to bring it, fully stretch those pecs. Remember, it's chest day. Shoulders will get involved, but the emphasis today is on those chest. Now we're going to do the incline dumbbell fly, or the incline chest fly. Either way, it's the same exercise. What you're going to do is, you're going to open up wide so you get that full extension on your pecs. Bring it back in. Make sure it's a weight you're comfortable with that you can do at least 10 to 12 reps, okay? Remember, the key is to exhale on the way up. Again, remember, the key is to exhale on the way up. Wide spread, get into those pecs and press it towards the center. You can see the dumbbells are almost touching. Notice I'm not keeping it close, I'm keeping it wide. Right around your delts, which is the front of your shoulders, your anterior delts. That's what your preference is. So the front of your shoulders, your anterior delts. Press right towards that center. Go wide and back to the center line. So wide, center line, and exhale to the top. 
Fly, center line. Now we're going to target the lower part of the chest. So that way your all around chest looks full. All right, so to do that, we're going to get on a decline. hesitation. So we don't do these. Nah. We want to get that maximal tension. Yep. And almost until your nose barely touches the ground. One Mississippi hesitation. So exhale and lock it to the top. That way you get the maximal tension on your muscles and that good contraction leads to the muscle growth. Yep. Because your arms are being used to stabilize you at the top. So instead of bound to a stabilize you, and keep it up with your natural range of motion. And after a while, your arms, especially the tricep area, and also your chest, start to explode. And I like a challenge too. So those traditional push-ups are too easy or you find them too mundane, here's an alternative. Elevate your feet, toes on up, any elevated surface, whether it's a chair, a bench, anything you can find. or diamond hand push-ups are another alternative. You're looking for that extra challenge and that extra burn to put even more emphasis on your pecs. So, get that close grip, diamond hand. All the way up, all the way down. Exhale at the top. Nice and control. Tricep dips now. What's the chest and tricep day without the dips? Okay. So it, again, it's maximal control. Lock at the top. One second down. One second up. Keep that cadence. And exhale at the top. Do as many control reps as you can. Whether that's two, six, could even be ten. fitness level or somebody just looking for a better challenge to grab a weighted belt and that way you can put the weight of your choice on there okay but gradually work your way up with that whether you start with 25 pounds or just five pounds work your way up gradually okay and same principle one second down one second up Heal 
heel crunch and exhale to the top. Eight to ten reps. Every two. Transitions to the rep. I'm going to do traditional planks, so with these, you want to keep your body aligned straight and just hold it out. Exhale, every time you have to breathe out, have a slightly exaggerated exhale to hold that tension. Remember, keep that chin tucked in. Keep in mind, since your goal is to put on muscle mass, which is going to be healthy weight, you just want to limit your cardio to about 15 minutes twice a week. I want to thank everybody personally for tuning in to A Bailey Mind and Body. And today, again, just a recap. The focus was on the chest, so we attacked those pecs today. The core, the rectus abdominis, which is the part which you see for the definition. The transverse abdominis, which is the outer part as well. So that way you got your full workout in and you cannot forget about the tries. We definitely got it those as well, okay? So remember, again, chest, triceps, core. This has been A Bailey Mind and Body tuning out. Again, I want to personally thank everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe below and share with any friends or family you think will benefit from this video.